the Precog is a brand new spellcaster class that came out with Starfinder Galactic Magic. They are based around time manipulation, and you'll find that a lot of their abilities center around this. They don't have a ton of class abilities, but their level 20 ability is- What are you doing? Jesus! Don't tell them about the level 20 ability yet. What is this, amateur hour? Oh. Okay then, I... I guess I won't spoil it for you. Starting off with 5 stamina points and 5 hit points, the Precog is not a pushover. Their key ability score is dexterity, but all of their spellcasting abilities, they are still based around intelligence. Now this was a change that was made from the playtest, because at first, they were a dex-based spellcaster, which was kind of scary to think about. When it comes to skill ranks, you're going to get 6 plus your intelligence modifier. Now, if you want to lean more towards the spell casting side of things, you will obviously have more skill points to spend. The proficiencies will work a little differently than they have in any other class. You're going to get a predictable light armor proficiency here, but when it comes to your weapons, you actually get a choice in what you're proficient at. You will start with a proficiency in basic melee weapons as well as small arms, but you then get a choice of one of three options. You can go with advanced melee weapons, you can go with long arms, or you can go with sniper rifles. Now when it comes to spells, the Precog will be able to draw from the Precog spell list within Galactic Magic, and there is quite a few spells that can be found in this book. Just for quick reference, as a Precog, when you cast a spell against someone, your enemies, if they get a saving throw, they will have to beat the following dice check. 10 plus the spell's level, plus your intelligence modifier. When you take your first level of Precog, a few things will be unlocked for you. The first is your Anchor. The Anchor is what provides the foundation for all of your time manipulation powers, but your Anchor is also specific in how it operates to you. Once you've chosen your Anchor, this choice cannot be undone, so please choose wisely. The Chronomancy Anchor is all about the flow of time. There is a power that fuels you, that connects you to time. With this kind of an anchor, your power was granted to you by some being or something that you've encountered. For the Dimension of Time anchor, you are bound to the Dimension of Time itself. This could have happened because of a connection to a creature from the Time Dimension, but it also could have happened in some other ways. With the Doomed Future Anchor, you have seen the future, some horrible, cataclysmic, awful event. Maybe an old god has awakened. Maybe magic has exploded out of some pocket dimension and is consuming the universe. Or maybe it was just the swarm. When you have this anchor, you are working towards preventing that horrible vision, that horrible future that you have seen. With a fragmented past anchor, you are in a timeline that is not your own. Something has happened. Maybe you know what the event is, maybe you don't. But something for you just feels off. You are not where you're supposed to be. And the longer you stay in this divergent timeline, the more power you gain. With the gap anchor, something has happened in your past that has connected you to the gap and you're able to pull power from the gap's history and use it in your modern now. With the Time Warped Anchor, you are basically an experiment. Your bond with the flow of time stems from a technological origin. Maybe you encountered something in your travels. Maybe you were experimented on by an ancient civilization. Now, whatever anchor you choose at level one, you gain the focal paradox ability of that anchor. You gain the improved anchor at level nine and the greater anchor ability at level 15. Something else you get at first level is your first paradox. Each day when you rest and you would regain your spell slots, you also gain paradox slots or paradox uses. You get one plus half of your dex modifier to a minimum of two. For every paradox you have, roll a d20 and keep that number set aside. When a precog ability allows you to use that paradox, you will, instead of rolling for whatever ability it is or whatever check you're trying to do, you can instead use your paradox roll. At third level, you can use your paradox for different skill checks. You can use it for initiative checks. You can even use it for reflex saving throws. To use your paradox for one of your skill checks, you have to be trained in that skill. And at level 5, you can use those Paradox for attack rolls, fortitude saving throws, and will saving throws. 
and at level 5 you can start using Paradox for your untrained skills as well. Level 2 you're also going to gain your first Temporal Anomaly. These are the special precog abilities. The first one is gained at level 2 and then you get another one every 3 levels thereafter. At level 3 you gain Chronomatic Defense. Now this allows you to boost your AC bonus for yourself or your party members. If you're going to use this ability you have to declare it before the attack roll is done. And level 3 comes with Weapon Specialization. So you'll gain Weapon Specialization for your basic melee weapons and small arms and the weapon type that you chose, not the other ones. Now level 4 is a very cool ability. Temporal Aggression allows you to change damage rolls. The way it works is you can use your Paradox in place of your damage roll to the maximum of whatever dice you're using for your damage. If you're doing d4 damage and you have a 20 stored up in your Paradox, you can't do 20 damage, you would only do the maximum damage of 4. Likewise, if your damage was a d8, you could only do 8 damage max. But if you deal multiple dice of damage, you can use a Paradox for each dice to deal potentially the maximum amount of damage. Now before I move on to some of the higher level abilities, if you're enjoying the video would you please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more Starfinder content like this from myself then please hit subscribe with the bell notification. The next ability you're going to get doesn't come till level 10 so it's going to be a while. Paradoxical Acceleration allows you to spend 3 resolve points to gain a Paradox. Your next ability comes at level 12 and that is Chronomatic Flow. As a swift action, you're allowed to use a Paradox to increase your spell DC check. At 12th level, the maximum you can increase this check by is 1, but at level 16 it goes up to a maximum of 2, and at level 19 it goes up to a maximum of plus 3. Now at level 20, here's where things get a little bit nuts for the precog. As with most classes, if you ever achieve level 20, something ridiculous happens. At level 20, you become a timeless paragon. Time just has no meaning to you anymore. You don't age, and you have perfect control over your body. Rather, perfect control over your existence. What do I mean by this? Well, let's look at it. Once per week, you can edit your last two character levels. Once per month, you can change the last 10 character levels. And once per year, you can change all 20 character levels. This doesn't mean you can select a new class, all your levels have to be rechosen and rebuilt within the precog class. But if you wanted to, once per year, you can just rebuild yourself entirely. And on top of that, once per week, you can cast Rewrite Time. Rewrite Time can be cast as any precog 6th level spell. It will duplicate it and then act as it. It can instead be used as a 5th level spell of any caster spell, or lower than that if you really wanted to waste it. It can undo extremely harmful effects, and if you have a creative and flexible GM it can even produce results greater than that. It's technically considered a 9th level spell, so that's pretty nuts. Now on top of this, because the precog is a caster class, they do have access to a massive, massive spellbook. And by that I mean list of spells. In Starfinder Galactic Magic there are over 200 spells for the precog. Starfinder Galactic Magic does add a bunch of new spells, over 100 new spells to Starfinder, but it still references old spells throughout the different expansions that have been released. Thankfully the shortlist index does tell us where you can find the spell, but if you don't have all of the books like myself, then I would suggest using Archives of Nethys to look up the different spells throughout the different books. So what do I think about the precog? I think this is a fantastic concept for a class. I think it's going to be very easy to make some interesting characters, and if you want to tell some time manipulation stories, they would make great antagonists or quest givers or contacts for your players. If you are a creative GM it would be very cool or very easy to have some in-depth stories around time manipulation and working that together. I am slightly concerned about this being a power build class. I haven't been ultimately too concerned about the balance 
for most of the other classes throughout Starfinder, the operative being the only one that has an advantage when it comes to skills. But a high dex, high intelligence build means you're going to have a powerful caster and you're also going to be hard to hit and likely a really good shot. Now, if you're using sniper rifles, you will likely be too far away to use your spells. If you're using long arms, you're gonna be a very powerful mid-range combatant. Regardless of what I just said about it, I do want to play one. I am very excited to try it out. I love the spellcaster classes. But what do you think? Tell me about it in the comments below. If you'd like to see my review of Starfinder Galactic Magic, that will be on the screen now, as well as a class playlist. Thank you to all of my patron subscribers and to Liam Oliver who joined me at the Maple Finder level. The move is just a couple of weeks away. Don't forget to check out the mapletablemerch.com for channel merch. Link is in the description. My name is Nathaniel. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.